Hi everyone, it's C4 the Geek back here with a hack of these LED finger lights. My wife uses them for her balloon twisting gigs. The reason why it, this is on my radar is because we just got a batch of them, but about 48 of them didn't quite work the way they should. So for example, this one doesn't come on at all when switched on. Other defects include being on when the switch is off, or very dimly lit when switched on. Uh, the supplier said that there's nothing to be done since it's not meant to be opened. Well, I guess when they say it can't be done, I still have to do something about it, right? It's not really acceptable for so many defects. Sure, some may light up, but not to the same extent, which I think you can see. We're not being picky. Also, if you're looking to do some modding or even replacing the batteries, then this video is for you as well. So, what will you need? To save your fingernails, you need a guitar pick or plectrum. Not too thick, about half to one millimeter to start with, but not too flexible either. You'll probably need a coin, one of the smaller denominations like this five cent piece. I don't recommend using screwdrivers as they may crack or break the plastic. You'll also need a tissue or clean cloth. And finally, you'll need an LED finger light, of course. I'll be using this clear colored one because it should make things easier to see. The first thing to do is to remove the rubber band strap thingy. Although I think this is optional, but at least for, to start with, you probably want to take it off. At the LED bulb end of the light, there is a retention ring. A twist in any direction should be all that's required to remove it. If it doesn't, then you might have to use some other gripping devices. But most should come away quite easily. Without that ring, you'll notice that it appears to be coming undone. Do notice that it is held together by three plastic pins nested one inside the other, holding both halves together with friction. Switch the light to the on position by sliding the switch towards the bulb. With the space that the switch has revealed, start plying apart gently with the pointy end of the guitar pick so that as much of it enters the body of the light. If there isn't enough space, then start at the bulb end and work your way to the battery end of the light. What you don't want to do is start from the non-switch side of the torch. The non-switch side is much more fragile than the other and pieces of plastic easily break off. One half is sort of reinforced, but the other side isn't, so I recommend you stay clear of it. A second guitar pick can be useful if you have another one, but it should suffice and shouldn't deter you from having a go. Once you have wedged the part of the pick inside, keep it inside the light and slowly pry the two halves apart by sliding the pick slowly and gently until you reach the other end of the light. At this stage, you are not aiming to have both completely separated. There will be some creaks and pops along the way as the two halves are separated. You may also from time to time see the light flash or flicker and seem to come on and work. While this is good news in that the light can work, don't be distracted and close the gap in the light uh, hoping it will work now. I'm pretty sure it won't work consistently and reliably. Take it from me. I've only done about 20 of these. Okay. So the next stage is reached when you've reached the other side of those three pins and or your pick doesn't seem to be firm enough to separate the two halves anymore. The next part actually requires me to use a corner edge of a table or bench. Again, placing the pick as far inside the light as it can go. Then place the side of the light flat on the table. Twist the pick again, gradually working your way around the three pins again. The gap between the two halves should be increasing. If one side is more than the other, then even it up by working more on the side with a smaller gap, or tap the side of the larger gap a little. Prying the gap just on the one side may break the retention pins, making it more difficult to close later. At the point where the guitar pick is no longer effective, then use the coin instead. It may be tempting to uh, just pry uh, the larger side open. Please don't. Move the coin to the other side and then twist 
or pry the two halves apart. Alternate between the sides until they come apart. This method should prevent the pieces from coming apart in an explosive manner, which happened to me the first half dozen times. So once you have them apart, let's quickly account for the various parts of the finger light. You should have two plastic halves, three the AG3 or the RR41, one LED bulb, a slider switch part, one metallic battery plate, and the rubber strap from earlier. The next step is to clean all the metallic parts so that the metallic parts can make good contact with each other. Sometimes the battery base plate is wedged in, so do your best to get it out. Using the clean tissue or cloth, start cleaning the LED bulb. Avoid bending the LED bulb connectors or conductors by using a sliding action. Avoid contact with the metal parts after cleaning. With regards to the battery base plate, clean all the flat portions by first holding it along the edges and cleaning the exposed metal portions. The part with the round dimple is where the battery will make contact with it, so ensure that the raised portion is clean and shiny if possible. You try to also clean the opposite edge of the plate as it will make contact with one of the LED conductors. You should clean the flat sides of the batteries so that they are shiny. You should be able to read the inscriptions on the face of the battery if they exist. Once all the metallic parts are cleaned, you are now ready to put it back together. To reassemble, start with one half of the light casing as shown. Pick up the battery base plate by the edges, taking care not to touch the flat sides with your fingers. Place the flat round portion of the base plate with the three pins and the other flat portion within the lower groove of the plastic casing. If it doesn't slide to the bottom on its own, you can use the LED conductor to push it down. Once the base plate is in place, put each of the three batteries in as shown, positive side up. Taking the switch slide piece, note that there is a protruding piece that sticks out on the underside of the switch. Do also note that this is offset to one side. The protruding tab is what makes the battery plate make contact with the LED conductor. So orient the switch piece so that the tab is closer to the plastic casing and away from you. Place the switch part now in the switch groove and closer to the batteries in the off position. Avoid sliding the switch in the present state as this will often dislodge either itself or the other part. Pick up the LED bulb and note that the two conductors are of different lengths. Place the shorter conductor or leg of the bulb in the upper groove above the battery plate and the bulb head itself in the bulb retention area. The bulb may seem out of place at the moment, which is okay. You may do a quick test by making the shorter bulb touch the battery plate and touching the longer bulb leg to the topmost battery. This confirms that the batteries are in working order now. Return the bulb to the previous position. Take the remaining half of the casing and, and place the groove over the, the LED bulb's longer leg, and then matching the pins of the casing together and pressing the two halves together firmly. You can now test the light by sliding the switch a few times to and fro and to make sure that it is working consistently and reliably. Place the retention ring over the bulb. You can now test the switching mechanism again and make sure everything is working as it should. Place the rubber strap back into its slot. Test it again, why not? And to return it to its original state, invert the strap as before. I hope you found this video to be useful, not just for getting it going, but you can mix and match the cases and bulbs to give you different colors. If you like this video, then by all means, um, please give it a like or thumbs up and if you like these kinds of videos then do subscribe to support this channel so until the next video love your work take care and bye bye